If you want to make your YouTube Shorts stand out from everybody else's YouTube Short videos, then use an actual camera. Not everybody has an expensive top of the line phone, so just use an actual camera instead. Maybe it's the one that you've got lying around. And this video will give you some amazing hints and tips on how to create some bangers of YouTube Shorts with a camera. In my case here, I'm using the Sony ZV-1, but you could use a GoPro or other cameras as well. And by the way, if your camera that you have right now, that old one, if that doesn't shoot virtual video, don't worry about it. I'll show you exactly how you can make footage from any camera you have fit into a vertical video format. And I promise, it's really easy. If I can do it, you can do it. A lot of cameras will understand that you've rotated the camera to film a vertical video. So when you press record on your video, it's going to come out of the SD card looking like this. Which looks kind of weird if you've been shooting a lot of normal videos, but you probably knew that already. Let's get into some of the settings that are going to take your YouTube shorts to the next level. And here's a major reason that using a camera, guys, is so much better than a phone. If you want that blurry bokeh background in your video, then think about putting the camera into aperture priority mode and dialing that into 1.8. The lower the f-stop, in this case, the lowest I can go is 1.8, then the blurrier the background, and the higher the f-stop number, then the less blur that there actually is going to be. You can't really do this on any old phone. A cheap camera can do this kind of thing in its sleep. Other settings you should keep an eye out for is the ISO, which is how sensitive the camera sensor is to light. So the higher the ISO number then the brighter things get which is kind of cool and all that but if the number is too high then the image is going to get noisy and grainy and that's not cool you can leave the iso on auto which may work well depending on the situation but if you can dial it in given that youtube shorts are pretty small videos you probably don't need to shoot in 4k but if you want to zoom in on your video when editing and not lose any quality shoot it in 4k it's not going to hurt speaking of editing there's tons of software out there that's going to help you make your videos for me, I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro, but use whatever you have, whether it's on your phone, laptop, or even if you're using something like LumaFusion on your tablet. But what I'm going to tell you next is not specific to Premiere Pro. This setting is, or should be, in all editing software, and if it's not, go get something else. For YouTube to recognize your short video as a YouTube short, there's a couple of things it needs. Primarily, it needs to be 60 seconds, and YouTube needs to see it as a vertical video. So you need to make your video sequence in a 9 to 16 aspect ratio. Think of it like your TV. So your TV is 16 to 9, and if you turn it, it's 9 to 16. Basically, just make a sequence 1080 by 1920 instead of the other way around. Get your video off your SD card and get it into your editing software. And now you're working in that vertical video space. And before we take you through the best way to render and export your video, what happens if you forgot to rotate the camera to vertical mode or you just got an awesome video that you want to put on youtube shorts here's a clip that's in the usual 16 to 9 aspect ratio that's not going to fit into my vertical video so what do we do make your vertical video sequence again remember 1080 by 1920 and now drag the horizontal footage into it move it around until you get the framing the way you like it and then you can also scale it down so it fits the vertical video format and if this 16 to 9 video has been shot in 4k you can really crop in without losing any detail now it's not going to be perfect but if you've got something that's in the wrong aspect ratio you can get it in there and get your point across once you've got your video the way you like it, polish it up, add some text or graphics or whatever helps you tell your story. And one of the best ways to really take your YouTube shorts to the next level and elevate your story is with music. And this video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound, who have a gigantic library of copyright-free songs and incredible sound effects. I've been using Epidemic Sound for all my music and sound effects in all of my videos for years, and I've never had one single issue with a copyright strike ever epidemic sound are amazing to work with and i'd love for you guys to get some of the value that i get so there's a link in the description that not only gets you a free trial but it gets you free sound effects and amazing free music for you to use in your youtube short videos or any video for that matter and they're yours to keep and use forever once you've nailed your youtube short video and make sure it's around 58 to 59 seconds max it needs to be rendered and exported out. And if you don't pay attention here, this is really important, YouTube won't recognize your video as a YouTube short and you're gonna kiss your views 
goodbye and YouTube Shorts gives a lot of views. The video needs to be rendered in a vertical video format. So again, that magic number, 1080 by 1920. Make sure you've got those numbers dialed into your export settings, height and width, and then you're good to go. Bitrate doesn't have to be huge for YouTube Shorts, so 15 to 20 megabits per second will be good enough. Upload, and don't forget to use the hashtag Shorts in the title or description to make sure YouTube really sees it as a YouTube Short. And for more tips and techniques on making vids, hit subscribe.